when it comes to protecting the nation's honor, when criminals have to be brought to book, when it comes to protecting the dignity of women, when the laws are violated, when it is a question of guarding the nation's leadership in the dead of the night or in the broad daylight, it is the smiling, reassuring face of the Trichy police that guards the city in its multifarious roles. Because the Trichy police is a guardian, protector and a friend. Tiruchirappalli, or Trichy, occupies a unique place in Tamil Nadu. Internationally renowned for its temples, it attracts a huge floating population every year. Policing and ensuring security to this variegated population is challenging at the best of times. However, it is an ever alert and vigilant Trichy city police force who has time and again admirably risen to the challenge. In fact, a silent revolution has been sweeping the city of Trichy for some time now. A new era of police-public relationship has dawned and is promising to rewrite the role of policing in India. On the Tamil New Year's Day in April 1999, the Trichy City Police launched a new path-breaking initiative in policing, the Beat Officers System. It was an ambitious plan to renew the faith of the common man in the police force and forge fresh bonds between the police and the public. Only four years later, that initiative has given a whole new impetus to the concept of welfare policing and has marked a watershed in terms of the relations between the police and the public. Not confining themselves to being just the law enforcement agency, the Trichy City Police has today made sure that they are the most trusted friends of the people here. The revolution has been dramatic in its impact. Crime rate has fallen substantially. The overly stressed and harassed sections of the people today wear a happy and contented look. Complaints of all kinds, be it domestic, criminal, or about amenities are taken care of and addressed in no time. Today, the police force here are the people's friends, someone to whom they can look to whenever crisis strikes. A partner in the development of the district and a guide in the hour of need. Beat officer system is a unique and revolutionary concept in the history of policing in India. A four-member group of policemen called Beat Officers man 57 beat boxes located across the 60 wards of the city. The role of these officers is more proactive than reactive. Instead of waiting for a complaint to be lodged and then proceed on the investigations, they visit the areas under them and find out the problems faced by the people there. Even verbal complaints are written down and petty neighborhood issues solved at that very place. Assistance is also provided for getting civic amenities like water and electricity supply. These officers ensure the security of women living on their own.
take care of the property of the people while they are away and provide family counseling. Basic education to underprivileged children and school dropouts and livelihood for single women so that they could lead a life of dignity and independence. Other than this, the beat officers regularly conduct surveys of the inhabitants of each block, recording the details of the entire family. This helps not only in keeping track of the inhabitants, but also acts as an alert when an outsider enters the area. Beat number two to beat number 48 to. Uh, beat number 48 receiving, sir. Number 55, Vadivel Nagar, second class, Urayur. Ah, receive it, sir. Address is verified, sir. Verified, sir. Then we reply, sir. Over. என்ன <laughs> 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 It is a measure of the bond between the police and the public here that, at a lot of such night vigils, the local people voluntarily join them in patrolling in the night. One is that we have in, in established beat points when policemen will be phoned, uh, placed amidst uh, people. Number of places, especially slums, we have our policemen working independently. If it is a system in which only beat uh, persons are being marched, then they will be controlled by a police officer. Here the policeman acts independently, mixes with the public, ascertain their problems, and wherever uh, his participation is required, he will give them counseling and give them ideas and try to bring the notice of corporation people or any other revenue authority, if so. Otherwise, in case of any other uh, problems which attract the provisions of law, he will get in touch with the station with, through his uh, wireless set, and then he gets the necessary help. This way it's functioning very effectively and efficiently. We have a set of people who are poor, who cannot really write to the police by spend, uh, spending on the postage, nor able to come forward to interact with them and pass on information directly. And there are some people who want to participate and yet remain absolutely anonymous. So to give an opportunity for them to participate in the policing, we have complaint boxes fixed all over the city wherein the public, if they want to inform anything, they just write in a slip and drop it, which are collected every day, and the commissioner goes into it and he acts on that immediately. Registering a complaint with the police and getting a prompt redressal has been a bit of a dream for most people. With the Trichy police, this dream turns into a reality. The compassionate cops, as the force is fondly known as, obviously understands the reluctance of the common man in registering a complaint and seeking redressal. What the force has hit upon is a path-breaking idea of installing complaint boxes all around the city. People can deposit their complaints in the numerous complaint boxes situated at strategic locations all over the city and in the beat boxes. With no complicated FIRs to be filled and no major legal formalities to undergo, this imaginative effort has renewed the faith of these people in the police and has brought them closer to the force. 
The highlight of this initiative is the prompt and speedy disposal of the cases that has endeared the force further to the people here. On the face of it, this road in Kulapatti village seems to be just another one in the dusty villages of India. But this road holds a story that has transformed so many lives around this block. A few years ago, there was no such road here. Getting to the main city was but a torturous, long, winding and tiring journey. In fact, the lack of accessibility proved to be a pain for this block as the villagers grappled with every form of challenge, from lack of amenities to dirt and disease and a high crime rate. The Trichy city police adopted the entire village and took it upon themselves to build a four kilometer stretch connecting the village to the city. What they in fact did was to build a road to peace, prosperity and health to the villagers of Kulapatti. We get 24 hours drinking water. This has been made possible only because of the policemen here. They have given us lights, toilets and have approached us on their own to help us in our problems. Reforming hardened criminals is another way that the force has forged new bonds with the people. Sapani, twice murderer after having served a lifer, was given a new lease of life by the force and today he stands reformed and happy. I was sent to jail for a murder for 12 years. Once I came out, I was taken to Mr. Tripathi, who gave me an opportunity to reform myself and lead a good life. For the women who often face distress and crisis in their lives as a result of factors like marital abuse, dowry cases or even desertion during old age, it is the sympathetic hand of the police force that holds out hope. In a special cell created for and managed by women officers, every attempt is made to wipe out the tears of such women in the best possible manner. The helpline has made sure that women seeking justice are not inhibited anymore by rules and regulations. Instead, it is enough that these women place their complaints in the complaint box or just call the helpline 1091, exclusively dedicated to women in distress. Help arrives for such women in virtually no time after the complaint is received. The action from the police is immediate and swift. An example of how the helpline operates. Here, a woman makes a distress call to the women's cell complaining that her husband is remarrying. The action from the police is immediate and swift. Swooping down on the marriage hall, where a mass marriage is taking place, the police weed out the offending husband and bring him to Burke.
the speed in which justice is meted out is unheard of in the country's context. But then, that is what the helpline has anyway set out to achieve. Immediate justice. The helpline operates with the ideal of empowering women and providing support for leading a respectable life. The success story of Trichy City Police has been made possible not only due to the efforts of the police, but also the efforts of local authorities, NGOs and other bodies. In one of the firsts in the country, the Trichy City Police operates through a wide area network that links all the police stations and offices with internet connectivity and email services. The common man can lodge complaints in any of the 12 computerized police stations and makes the functioning responsive, transparent and interactive. The ultimate uh, aim of any policeman is to get recognition of his services by public. In that way, we can control crime, we can think about uh, future planning and we can also plan about our future activities because a city is always expanding and new problems will be brought into the fore. The future of police lies in community policing because it basically stresses that policing for the people, of the people and by the people. With a very effective partnership with policing, no doubt that we can go towards a crime-free society. The initiatives of the Trichy City Police have earned applause from all around. The Government of India conferred the force with the Dr. Malcolm S. Adishesh Aya Special Award. The feather on the cap of the force, of course, is the Community Policing Award, a top-ranking honor conferred by the International Association of Chiefs of Police, presented to the force for its innovations. The path shown by the Trichy Police Force is an exemplary one. In the annals of policing in the country, this serves as a beacon for effective and welfare policing in every part of the nation. As this force has shown, it is not difficult to inculcate the faith and trust for the police if it is done with a single-minded devotion. And when that happens, the day is not far off when the police community as a whole is considered friends partners and God for the entire country.